How to make a personal portfolio using Canva. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can build your own personal portfolio in Canva. Now, Canva is super popular for designing graphics, logos, presentations, but Canva can be a great way for you to create your own portfolio especially if you're in a niche or a industry where you need to have an online portfolio, but being tech savvy is the last thing that you are. So let's get started with building our own portfolio. I am going to be building my portfolio from the perspective of a makeup artist and a stylist. So let's get started. First off, you need to log on to your Canva account. Once you have logged on to your Canva account, you're going to click on a website. They're going to click on create new over here. You can explore some of the templates on the left by clicking on the design option. Now, there are several different templates available for Canva websites or portfolios. However, one thing to note is that you can't build separate pages in Canva. Instead, everything is presented in a one page format. So everything basically ends up being in a layout or in a landing page. So on the left, you can search for portfolio. And once you search for portfolio websites, you will actually see a lot of different types of portfolios. Now you can definitely find something that falls under your niche or a design that you like, and you can use that to get started. For example, if I think this looks nice, I can apply all seven pages and get started, you know, and use this kind of color scheme. This has a particular template style. Now I can use this template style and you guys can see I'm just going to apply the template style and there are different color combinations in the template style as well. So I can go on ahead and pick one out for each individual page and I can just use the template style instead of just using the individual template. But I personally do think that using a template can be a quicker way, but I'm going to get started from scratch. So to get started, first off, we are going to enter our name and then a subheading, which is going to be a makeup artist slash stylist. And then I want to add learn your personal aura. And then after that, I'm going to select everything together, place it like this on the left. Then I'm going to go into elements on the left and then in your elements, just search for frame. Once you go into frames, you will see different types of frames. Now you can pick out one that is going to match the aesthetic of your portfolio. So if I want to go with this ripped paper effect, I'm actually going to do this and I'm going to use, this is a bit too wide for an entire image background. I'm going to need a smaller torn bit of paper. So I'm going to search for paper frame and I'm going to go into frames over here and we have this one over here, which I think is going to work a bit better. Yeah, I'm going to use this as like the background and I'm going to take my text. So I'm going to place the text here like this and I'm just going to align all of these elements together because I want everything to look very cohesive like this. For some reason, this is a bit too spaced out, so I'm just going to select this and then click on over here. And I am going to alter the line space. The line spacing is fine on this. I need to alter the letter spacing like this, and then I'm going to place it over here. And then I'm just going to capitalize some of this over here. It can be, you know, a bit tedious, but it's really nice to make sure everything is lined up correctly. Now on the bottom, you can add your basic representative image that you want to use for your portfolio. Make sure it's some of your best work because it goes on your front page, which means that a lot of people are going to see it. So I am going to be using some stock footage. You should definitely be uploading your own. To upload your own, just click on upload, click on upload image or video. And then you can just go on ahead and upload your images. So I have quite a bunch of images ready. So I'm just going to take this one, which I've uploaded previously. Now, this is not going to work well in this type of frame. So I'm actually not going to use this. Instead, I'm going to go into elements and then search for fashion. And then I'm going to go into photos. And then I'm going to search for one that matches with 
our vibe yeah so this looks pretty nice now this is a bit too vibrant and the color in the back is a bit too uh close to the color value so i'm making it a lighter shade of pink because i think that's going to look better now on the second page i'm gonna go darker here or not even on the second page because i want it to look a bit cohesive so i'm going to write the about me section here like this and i'm going to delete the rest of this then I'm going to go into text on the left and you can add different types of text elements as well. So you can add text, you can add images. This is totally up to you on how you want to build your about me section. So this could be not a heading, but instead I would want to add a subheading. So hi, my name is Lily and I'm a makeup artist and stylist for the past 10 years blah 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 whatever you want to write you can just go on ahead and uh, even use this ai function in canva to expand your text but you can add your about me section now after that i like to add another page and then i'm going to go on ahead click on elements once i go into elements i like to search for frame and then I like to go into the frame section and find a nice stackable frame. So this could be any type of frame. If I want it to be circles, if I want it to be, you know, the torn paper effect, because I've already done that. But I'm going to go with torn paper, go into frames over here. And I think I'm going to just add a couple of torn paper frames like this. And I'll show you guys what we're doing. So we're going to be adding a couple of bits and pieces. So I'm going to add one, not on the center, but I think like this, we're going to be stacking them a little bit, you could say. I'm going to resize this here. And then after that, I want to take another torn paper in the opposite direction. So we're going to scroll down and we're going to search around for that. Yeah, so this one is in the opposite direction. I'm going to place it at the bottom, expand this. And then I'm going to go into text, click on add heading, add my work. And over here below that, I can add all of the images related to my work. Again, I'm using stock footage. You should be using your own footage. And I'm just going to go into photos here. You can even include videos if you so choose to do like this and like this. I'm just going to expand this here. And once I've done that, I can add another page and then add like a regular stack of images to represent your work or videos. Additionally, you can even dedicate individual pages to a specific work or, you know, a specific style, you know, appointment that you did or anything specific. This is totally up to you. It's your portfolio. So once you do that, you can write the story about it. You can write how you get started. All of that can be added. And once you've completed this, just click on publish website and then you can publish your website with your Canva URL. You can even click on preview over here to preview what it looks like before you get to publishing. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.